All right, welcome back to Egan Online Tutorials. Part two of the PowerPoint final, we're gonna cover how to save, how to uh, work on your inspiration slide, and how to create your title page within PowerPoint. So once you've created your inspiration final slide, again, you need four branches off of your main Racket Sports final, and then you need three branches out of each topic, subtopic, and those will be your three paragraphs within your PowerPoint final. So once you have this done, make sure that you save that to your student folder. So to a file to save as, make sure that you select your student folder from the left-hand side, and make sure you save it a final time. And you can call that, save it as your last name, or just save it as Racket Sports Final. Then once it's saved, you're going to need to put this into your PowerPoint project as slide number two. The easiest steps to do that are to go up to edit, go to select all. You'll know that it highlights every circle and we're going to put that into slide two of your PowerPoint. So go up to edit again and copy that and then open up a PowerPoint project, either one you have saved or start from scratch. To get to slide number two in PowerPoint, you're going to go insert, throw in a new slide, and this one should be blank. So if I go to format, go to slide layout, you're going to want to pick a blank document, and then just go up to edit and paste. And then that is your basically your table of contents for your inspiration slide. Slide number one then again is your title page and that should have three different boxes. One is your title which for everybody will be Racket Sports Final. In the first text box goes your name, my name, our room number and the date. And then your second box should be a photo. You have to have a picture or a graphic or a video on every slide excluding the works cited page. So you can just go to uh, Google if you want. It's an easy way to start. Find anything related to racket sports. Maybe I like this ping pong uh, picture here. So I can click on that. And I'm going to make it larger and then copy it. Once you've done that, go back to your PowerPoint slide. And you're just going to paste that in there. All right, so you'll have racket sports final your name, my name, our room number, and the date, and a picture. Slide number two then is going to be your inspiration slide. Slide number three then, if I insert a new slide, that will be your first information slide. So again, same thing, maybe this info slide is on tennis. Your text box then will include all the information on whatever topic you have. Again, that has to be 20 point font paragraph form with no bullets and then you have to have a picture or graphic on each page. All right, once you've added four information slides, then you put in your works cited page. You need a minimum of 3 websites that you've added or worked from for your information. And then the last thing on extra credit, you can add in additional information slide. You can do a video or animation for extra credit. And the video one, once you found a video, Save that to your student folder. You're going to go up to Insert for extra credit. Go scroll down to Movies, and then find wherever you put your movie at. I have a table tennis one here. Choose that. You definitely want it to play automatically. And then when you view your slideshow, you will have your video will play for you automatically. Make that whatever size you want.
points. So the video is five extra credit points and you can do one of each of those for a total of 12 points extra credit if you choose to do that. When you're completely done, again, make sure you save it to your student folder first. So go file, save as. Save this presentation as just your last name and save, put that in your student folder. When you log on to my computer at the last day of finals, you'll save that to uh, my computer and then I'll grade it electronically. And that's the final steps for the PowerPoint project.